Are you sick of chafing when you go open water swimming, whether you're wearing a wetsuit, not wearing a wetsuit, you get those hot spots, then they turn into like just full blown chafing that hurts for days after you swim? Don't worry. Today we're going to talk about channel grease, uh, which is a really potent anti-chafing cream. Uh, I'm going to talk about what you need to make it, how to make it, and what you should be doing to get it off your body too. So with that, let's jump in. <music> So when you're making channel grease, now channel, this is, this is my mix. This is, this is what I like to use. Uh, there's tons of different mixes out there. You can go and you can actually buy pre-made channel grease. Um, I don't remember the name of the brand, but you can Google it. Uh, but this is what I do before all my long swims. This is what I use for all my channel swims. So basically you need three ingredients. You need petroleum jelly. So just basic Vaseline, nothing fancy. Uh, you will need lanolin. This is a little harder to get, so if you have a long swim coming up, order sooner than later. Uh, but you'll want lanolin, uh, and then you will also want Balmex or Desitin, some type of zinc oxide mixture. And basically, the petroleum jelly and the lanolin are used for anti-chafing, and then the zinc oxide is used for sun protection. So when you're making channel grease, you're going to want to basically do about 40 to 45 percent of your mixture will be petroleum jelly. 40 to 45 percent will be lanolin and then the remainder will be the desitin balmex or zinc oxide whatever you decide to use and again this is the the zinc oxide is for sun protection uh it's basically like wearing clothes it will you you it will be very hard for you to get a sunburn when you're covered in this channel grease when you have about 15 to 20 percent of your um channel grease mixture being uh, zinc oxide. So let's make a quick batch. I already started. Uh, when you make a batch of this, you want to do it when the three different ingredients are room temperature, a little warmer. It's going to make it easier to mix up. So if you're doing this in your car before you swim, put it on the dashboard in the sun, let it melt a little bit. It'll make life a lot easier for you. You're going to want a Tupperware container that you can toss uh, this stuff does not come off of anything. So I would say either toss it or something that you don't mind getting ruined that you're gonna have to clean really well. Um, so basically you're gonna do, since I already started mixing this, you're gonna do about, four, like I said, 40 to 45% um, Vaseline. We got 40 to 45% lanolin. And then the remainder we're gonna squeeze in is gonna be our zinc oxide, so our desitin. Um, so we get that in there. Oh, gross. Let's mix it up just so we can see like the, the texture and the consistency and the color. Yeah, see we're mixing it nicely. Oh yeah. So basically this is, once it's mixed really, really well, you're gonna get like a, almost like a, fro a, a slightly thicker than frosting like consistency. So you can see it's, it's not coming off this spoon. Um, when you go to apply this, so this is what it looks like up close. When you go to apply this, you're gonna to wanna to wear like rubber gloves or latex gloves. You do not wanna get this stuff on your hands because it does not come off. And then if you go to touch your goggles, you go to touch your face, you go to touch something, you're gonna have smears on your goggles the whole time. So make sure when you put this, when you put the channel grease on the chafing spots, either have a buddy do it or do it with gloves on. Uh, when Make sure you bring rags, make sure you bring trash bags, because if you're in a boat, you don't want to get this on someone's boat. So if you have a trash bag, you can stand on the trash bag, get greased up, you can sit on the trash bag, and then any clothes or rags that you use to kind of clean up, go in the trash bag so it doesn't get all over someone's boat or car or anything like that. And then when you go to take this off, this isn't just going to come off. It's not going to wipe away. So you're either going to want to use baby oil or you are going to want to use dish soap. And that should break it to break down the channel grease and it will make getting getting it off your body a lot easier. Um, so yeah, that's basically my version of channel grease. Uh, if you do some Google searches, you'll see different percentage of mixtures. Um, if you're doing like a lighter swim, 
or not quite as long, then you can skip the lanolin and you can just go with Balmex and um, petroleum jelly or, or zinc oxide and petroleum jelly. If you do that, obviously 85, 90% will be petroleum jelly and then the remainder will be uh, zinc oxide. Um, and that's for more of a, a lighter weight swim, you know, six hours or less. If you're gonna go over six hours, you wanna mix the lanolin in because that stuff does not come off and you won't necessarily have to reapply that often. Uh, so that's channel grease in a nutshell. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you like my mixture of channel grease and you use it on your next long swim. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go like, go subscribe, do some fun things like that. And I will talk to you in another video. See ya.